welcome back to my channel guys in this video i'm going to show you how to sew a cargo pocket quickly quick and easy you're going to sew this in 10 minutes okay so if it's something you want to learn how to do neatly and quickly please keep watching and let's get into the video so i am going to be needing a uh, two piece of fabric for the two sides of the pockets okay but let's work with one all right but just so you know the length of this is 10 inches and the width is 15 inches okay for the main pockets right so eventually we'll do some inverted pleating and the width would eventually reduce to nine inches but let's get into the main video and you would see now this is for the pocket cover okay i opened it up like this and by the time i fold it it's going to be three and a half inches for the length okay so three and a half inches for the length if you open it up seven inches then for the width is nine inches which is the same width for the main pocket when we eventually do the pleats all right so this is for the pocket cover which we would use for you know the main pocket now the this strip of fabric that would use to create the cargo okay is measuring about 40 inches even though i'll still cut out extra piece that will be left after you know attaching to the main pocket now the length is three inches and you notice that i folded half inch on one end okay but the total length is actually three inches but just iron fold and iron uh, one part fold it to the wrong side and iron just half inch to one part of the strip okay because you would want to do that so that it will be easy for you now i am going to work on the main pocket to create the pleats that we need so i'm just going to put this is for my two pockets okay so I'm, i folded it into two and i'm going to notch the top part and the bottom part all right just to get the middle and then I went ahead to iron it. Please iron as you go. It's just going to be super helpful for you. So I iron this so that I will know that this is the center, even though I've already notched it. But go ahead and still iron it. And then let's work on one pocket now. I'll open it. Okay. But first, I'm going to, from my middle, I'm going to mark three inches from the folded parts, which is the part that I ironed and notched. I'll mark three inches. And I'm going to create a notch as well on the top part and on the bottom part. And after I do that, I am going to open this to the wrong side. So this place I chalked, so you can see the chalk is the wrong side. So from the middle part, I have three inches on both sides. Okay. So what I want to do is to create a pleat. So I'll just fold one part of this three inches that i marked and iron i'll also do the same thing for the other side from the three inches that i notched i'll fold it and iron so i have two lines okay sorry i have three lines the middle and the two lines around the side so i turned it over to the right side so what i want to do is this line so iron is going to be easy for you this line i'm going to match it to the center line okay to create the split and then i'll iron it so i'm iron because just iron is going to just make it easy easier for you do the same thing on the other side so match it to the middle point and iron okay so this is what we have I'm just going to take to my sewing machine. When you open it, this is what you have. Take to my sewing machine and hold the top part and the bottom part. So, uh, pocket width has now eventually um, come to 9 inches. Okay. So, next I'm going to do is I'll get this strip of fabric and I'm going to match it right side facing right side of my pocket. And then on the side, I did not fold an iron. I'm going to just match it and sew with half of an inch. All round but when you're sewing when you get to the edge you realize that it's going to be kind of a bit difficult but you just have to 
take your time when you get there you raise your presser foot just pinch it a bit you can create a little pleat just a little so that everything is going to align properly and then continue folding you do the same thing for the other edge okay so i'll do that and i'll be back i also get my pockets i told you it's on fold if you open it it's seven inches i'll fold it to the wrong side and stitch at the size by half of an inch turn it inside out and then i'm going to iron okay so i'll do it for the two piece of the pocket cover now i have attached the long strip as so you can see the size what i did there okay it's a little little just kind of pinching or pleating that i did so that everything is just going to fit properly now you flip it to the wrong side and you're going to iron it inside flat iron the other side as well and then you're going to iron the down part excuse me iron the down part as well Now when you're done, we're going to, this is what it will look like in the front, okay? This is the front. So we're going to, you know, stitch the upper part of the pocket. So I'm going to just open it, open it. And, you know, so this is what it looks like after I've opened it. I'm going to fold in the upper parts. So I've already joined the pocket cover by the size and then right here you can go ahead and top stitch it's optional but i won't i'll just fold the upper part of my pocket with one and a half inch iron then i'll fold the rough edges with half of an inch so fold by one and a half inch you can see i measure it to be sure it's one and a half inch and I'm going to iron it and after that I would now fold the end with half of an inch and that is where I am going to sew on okay so make sure that the pleats that you have there is aligned though so that you don't you know scatter it so I'm folding half of an inch which I will now sew on I just like to iron because it just helps you, you know, and at, at the end of the day, everything is just going to come out looking neat, all right? So, I'll sew that, and here I have done that already. The next thing is to attach this to the skirt or the trouser, wherever you want to attach it. I'm attaching mine to a uh, shorts that I already sewed, okay? Um... Now you're going to the side of the shortest way of attaching it. So I'm just going to back out where I want it to start from. Okay, so I, I initially marked it two inches below the start of my pocket. That is the inner pocket of the shirt. But I realized that it was um, high. I had to come down again by one, one and a half inch. And yeah so i made sure that i had to back one and a half inch again so that it comes down a little bit so i made sure that the midpoint of my pocket is aligning with the seam line of my shirt as you can see so i'll just trace my pockets note that the the strip that i i ironed and everything is inside i already folded it inside so i am just tracing my pocket so guys if you're still watching up to this point please hit the like button okay just hit it it's very free and subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed okay thank you so after tracing out my pockets like this i am going to now place bring out this inner you know we already folded half inch inside so it's going to be easier so what you do is just place it on top 
of the mat lines starting from where the chalk started from just follow your lines and then you're going to sew at the edge okay just sew at the edge and when you get to this sharp edge as well you're just going to raise your presser foot and pinch it slightly you have to pinch so that um it's going to align it's not your pocket will not be longer and just you know work your way around it when you get to that edge part take your time okay and just pinch it a little bit more like create a triangle okay raise your presser foot and continue sewing do the same thing for the other side of the edge and then you continue sewing now after sewing this is what it looks like now the next thing i'm going to do is at the top part that is the opening side of the pocket okay i am going to sew it down just by the edge up to the same line i have there do the same thing on the other side okay just sew it down and then the next thing is the pocket cover so i'll measure half inch above and then i'm going to sew by a quarter of an inch then fold it over and sew by half of an inch to cover the seam that is inside and i'll do that and that is all for this tutorial guys i i want to believe you found it helpful if you did please click on the like button subscribe to this channel and i'm going to see you in the next one thank you for your support so far bye